You know, clouds are all made of water. Sometimes they are made of tiny drops, far apart and held up by the wind. Other times they are made of big drops, held up for a while by very strong upward winds inside the cloud. In this kind of cloud, the drops become too heavy to stay up, so they fall to earth as rain, or if it's cold enough, they fall to earth as snow, hail or sleet. Clouds are classified based on three factors, their shape, the altitude at which they occur, and whether they are producing precipitation. Clouds come in three basic shapes. Cumulus clouds, which are heaped and puffy, stratus clouds, which are layered, and cirrus clouds, which are wispy. Clouds also occur in three altitude ranges, specifically the altitude of the cloud base. High clouds, which occur above 6,000 metres and designated by cirrus or cirro are cirrus, cirrocumulus and cirrostratus. Middle clouds, which occur between 2,000 and 6,000 metres and are designated by alto are alto cumulus and alto stratus. Low clouds, which occur below 2,000 metres are stratus, nimbostratus, cumulus, stratocumulus, cumulonimbus and fog. I bet you didn't think fog was a cloud. It's a cloud that touches the ground. Clouds that incorporate the word nimbus or the prefix nimbo are clouds from which precipitation is falling. Can you think of another type of cloud? I'll leave the answer to that question up to you. So why is it important to study clouds? Clouds exert an enormous influence on our weather and climate. They are nature's way of moving fresh water from place to place on Earth. Clouds play a very important part in maintaining Earth's temperature. We need to understand how clouds reflect the sun's energy back into space or trap the Earth's energy in the atmosphere. We call this Earth's radiation budget.